hamsters are nocturnal, which means they are awake at night and they sleep during the day. I've got a special camera with me that will let us see in the dark. Oh, here he comes. There he goes. <laughs> Look at his little feet, spinning the wheel round and round and round. He's going really fast, isn't he? <laughs> no, he's still going. <laughs> Well done, Herbert. But do you know how a hamster wheel works? Well, let's find out. This is a wheel just like the one in Herbert and Helena's cage. This bit inside is called the running track because that's where a hamster runs. And can you see, if you look closely, these little ridges on the inside of the running track this is where a hamster uses its paw to grip onto the ridges and pushes the wheel around and round. Let's take a closer look to see how the wheel spins. Herbert's paws grip onto the ridges inside the hamster wheel, pushing the wheel behind him. As he runs, this makes the wheel go round and round. In the middle of the wheel, you can see a small piece of metal, like a rod. This is called the axle. At one end, the axle is fixed to the cage to keep it in place. At the other end, there is a small bolt which stops the wheel falling off. But the wheel can't spin until something moves it, which is where a hamster comes in. When a hamster like Herbert starts running, the wheel spins round and round on the axle. You can see how Herbert's paws grip onto the ridges inside the wheel. As his legs push down, they push the wheel round behind him. But how far do you think Herbert can run? I'm going to the top of this tall building to show you how far Herbert runs in his wheel on a single night. Can you see that building all the way over there? The one with the big pointy bit on top. It's a long way away, isn't it? Well, in one night, Herbert could run all the way from that building to here in his wheel. That's up to five and a half miles. Phew, what a workout. 